Next time you call 911 in Dallas to report a low level crime, it may not be a police officer who responds. The city now suggesting hiring civilians to handle some calls and then handing other calls off to different departments. Our Andrea Lucia explains how that would work. Dallas's police force has been shrinking while handling more and more calls each year. It's now taking officers an average of eight and a half minutes to respond to the highest priority calls. That's almost a minute longer than last year. But as we know, that response times has been a challenge. Chief Eddie Garcia asked council members to consider alternate ways to handle low priority calls for things like minor traffic accidents, car break ins, or loud music. And allowing our officers. Uh, to have more time to do the proactive policing that we desperately needed in the city. The city found police last year were dispatched to more than 110,000 non emergency calls, an average of 20% of all incidents they're sent to. One proposal would be to require that some reports be taken over the phone or using the city's online reporting system. 6% of police reports now come in this way. The city wants to see that more than triple to free up officers for more serious crimes. We can have the equivalent of 64 more officers on the street. That's tremendous. I mean, we can barely hire 64 officers in a year. So, I mean, I can't see why we wouldn't do this. Another proposal would create a civilian response team, like Fort Worth Police did last year. Its team responds to low priority calls and files reports. It's just not made up of sworn officers, so it costs the city a whole lot less. Some council members, though, expect not all residents will be happy. I understand the need for this. I just, I don't like it. Um, I wish there was another way, but when we have shortage of staffing, this is what we're dealing with. In Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.